so we are just relay the this session so i request you to maintain the decorum for this thing uh, most of the thing we already covered so we will go just fast and fast just see the uh, picture because uh, uh, clean uh, in your clinical anatomy spots the 10 marks spots okay the picture i used most of the picture similar picture i used for the spotting clinical anatomy and clinical uh, anatomy spot is important for your exam purpose because 5 and 5 10 if you get the zero histology always less so out of 20 if you get less than 50 and then difficult to cover in the other places so please uh, do you well in your clinical anatomy spots okay so that is why we kept as a this session for again and again for the applied anatomy otherwise we already covered this applied sessions with the regular sessions with your regular teaching just to revise so this is i am not going in detail the all everything we just i am covering only the some part of the this thing just certain important point i will cover okay and emphasizes on the certain point which you miss maybe at the previous session because my whole lecture is already covered in the all four sessions majority components are already covered so we we'll revise this thing so initially i started with the uh, plan for the bone because there is uh, the student from the bone they already cover the majority thing so i will emphasize on the muscles and nerve first okay so that is i change a little bit my presentation so what we uh, when we talk about the upper limb limb how limbs are different for this thing what do you understand what they are doing these two animals this thing after seeing the picture what comes in your mind <laughs> what they are doing they are fighting they are fighting fighting means fight. how you why you fight for the food for your protection this thing then you to for your survival you remember that Darwin's principle: survival of the fittest. For survival of the fittest, the three things he told you: population, that is the different part, but the food and protection, one thing. For that, you require one organ. For that particular thing, you require an organ. That is organ is known as prehensile organ. So, from lower animal to human being, the the prehensile organ is different. for human being because from quadrupeds to we come the this thing so our four limbs the upper limb are free to use as a prehensile organ if you see the cow quadrupeds the head is the prehensile organ either for love making either for the protection fighting or eating so the all thing they done by the head but even though squirrel if you see the squirrel they are faculty means they have walk on the quadrupeds but they can use the upper limb for time being for that reason their prehensile organ is upper limb although they walk on the four limb so you can see here so eating they use the two here the hook, you already covered the previous hook grip and everything i think you know so if you see they don't have any hook grip and all thing so that is why if you see the squirrel they eat by holding the two palm there is nothing squirrel doesn't develop the hook grip and all thing the hook grip come after the monkey so that is why if you see the monkey monkey again hold but he can flex the terminal phalanx so they hold this like this way okay so this is the so prehensile the upper limb is the prehensile organ is this thing so these are the competency which go, we are going to cover in this session so we first we talk about the applied anatomy muscle and nerve okay for well, uh, before that uh, they have presented uh, this thing radial nerve so in that presentation uh, they talk about the functions okay so there are intrinsic muscles of the hand intrinsic muscle of hand okay can you uh, flex just like this thing this is the flat hand now you just try to flex the terminal phalanx extend hold this can you flex after doing this uh, terminal phalanx can you able to flex the middle the proximal interphalangeal joint 
do like this way, lock, and then this is not possible. You're not able to do this. So same thing, as you see, the long tendon, fix care, you will not able to do this thing. Kuch lo kare. Hold, hold full, fully, 90 degree. Then you do the flexion of that particular finger. Flexion of the inter proximal interphalangeal joint. Baki finger ka niska. Baki ka toga. That's the different thing. Okay. So why this is happening? Why this is happening? If you remember, okay, if you remember the lot, more is the length, more is the length, more is the force on the this portion. And you remember the uh, which muscle is attached on the terminal phalanx? The long flexor either attached on the proximal phalanx or interphalangeal joint. So if the, this is locked, you will not able to display. You will learn the power grip. What is the in the power grip? What is happening in power grip? How power grip is different? Grip session hua na tumara? Power grip is bataya hoa sir ne? Power grip. For power grip we required something. We required. Why required? Power grip means your thumb is lateralized. I am holding this thing. For example, I am just holding this mic. This, the power, which is not present in the lower animal. It started, the power grip started with the, this, the orangutan and all this thing. Primates onwards, the, the power grip started with the uh, on, uh, primate onwards. It is not present in the previous. So that is, a, in that, we, our thumb is lateralized. If you remember the fraction extension, they are 90 degree to the, this thing. Because this has become lateralized. Adduction, abduction is changed. So we can use the thumb from the other side. And because of this terminal failings, it lock, can lock. We require a mechanism. For power grip, we require arc-like manner. We require function arc-like this thing. This type of mechanism required. Holding this thing. Can you hold the finger like this thing? Not able to. And the maximum force is this thing. Then how is this will flex? It will lock. It will extend it. Because of the extensor, this will extend it. So we require a mechanism which opposes this proximal uh, flexion of the proximal phalanx, proximal uh, flexion of the this, uh, this, uh, distal interphalangeal joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, but allow the metacarpophalangeal joint. So we require this type of action. This type of action we require. How is done? So we have a mechanism for doing this thing with the help of all entrancing muscles. So, for that, uh, because all the nerves, either median or ulnar radial nerve, this mechanism is required for this power grip. So, we have a called as dorsal distal expansion. Dorsal distal expansion. So, what is the dorsal distal expansion? It is a extension, uh, if you remember, in the uh, flexor aspect, we have two muscles. For the flexors, we have two groups. Flexor discipline superficialis, flexor discipline profundus. For that side, back side, only distorum is there. How they do this function? So the same tendon is divided into two parts. First, the center tendon and the two wings are there. And from the two wings, just like uh, wing uh, paraglide, uh, paraglide, it has two wings just like this way. It has one wing from this side, this wing, and it wrap around the, your fingers. It wrap around the finger and this is known as dorsal distal expansion. And this dorsal distal expansion is required for the extension. This is the action of uh, lumbricus ka action kaise yaad rakhtu? Palmer intrahi, dorsal intrahi. This is the action of the all 12 muscle of interesting muscle of the hand. Okay na? Claw hand sab ne bataya. Lekin claw hand hua kiyo? Why this is happening claw hand? What is claw hand? Opposite to this action. Opposite to do this action. What do you do? Hyper extension and flexion of interflanger. This is the claw hand. This action ka opposite is flexion. Hai na? So, this is the, so this is done by the dorsal distal extension. So what will happen? The, all the entrancing muscles and all things, they attach on the wing of the, this thing. Either lumbricals, palmar, uh, palmar interside, dorsal interside, they attach on this wing. So what will happen? They crosses to anterior to this metacarpophalangeal joint. But effective force, I will see. Yeah, the diagram, yes. This is the, 
this is the picture of dorsal distal expansion so the lumbricals they attach on the this portion lumbrical line thus thing palmar and dorsal so what will happen when they pull this direction so ultimately pull from this portion goes in this direction so what will happen the force is going behind the axis we know the what is the flexion or extension it is the force not the muscle it is the force which is doing the if the for direction of force for example sartorius muscle of anterior compartment but it causes the flexion of the knee joint because why because the action of the force is behind the axis so anything behind the axis it will do the approximation on the back side that is why the knee joint is flexed in case of sartorius so same thing same principle here the force goes this direction it now force go behind this proximal interphalangeal and distal interphalangeal so lumbrical causes the extension of this finger and the flexion this thing and then this slowly initially they allowed the this flexion and this flexion so that is arc line manner so this is done by the help of dorsal distal expansion so all the claw hand all the anatomical basis of this thing the this dorsal distal expansion is there okay so you can see this is the actions of you can see this is the action of all the interesting muscle means lumbrical ka bhi hai likh sakte ho palmar interface palmar and dorsal interface they, they have two another function pad and dab you remember already know okay thing so this is the action now we will come to the this thing now we will start with the one by one and then we will understand when they come the supply come to the hand because then only we can understand you now what is deformity happen there are two terms when we talk about the in the case of now one is deformity one is disability deformity and disability what is the difference between deformity and disability what is deformity what is disability deformity is means particular position of the limb because of one group of muscle is acting it create one position of limb so that is deformity it may part, uh, sustain uh, position of the limb that is deformity not able to perform particular action is disability not able to perform a disability permanent position is deformity okay you learn like facial deviation jo bhi upper limb mein wagaira padta hai the deviation deviation actually is the deformity not able to blow is the disability okay. so same with the upper limb you will see more as compared to other part limbs mein you will see more okay so first we talk about the started with the brachial plexus the anatomy of one of the upper trunk so that is the up paralysis up duchenne paralysis when it is happen when this neck shaft angle this angle the neck shaft angle is extended means this angle is increased this angle is increased this angle can be increased when you fall on the shoulder so shoulder will this say this thing or during child delivery you extended you try to force pull out the head and then this extension happen or in the surgery surgical table you press on this side and then again surgical table in surgical table fall on the shoulder or during child so it will stress the upper trunk so upper trunk up point is there what are the component upper trunk me ko do nerves aayengi what are the two nerves do component c5 c6 so whatever the muscle get the nerve supply from the c5 c6 they all are paralyzed once these muscles are paralyzed unopposed action created position of the limb so most of the uh, muscles of the uh, scapula attached to the scapula they all are paralyzed scapular muscles spec, uh, scapular group of muscles are supplied by c5 c6 beside that there is a bicep and upper part of the arm the arm muscles the somites from the arm muscles especially the biceps okay bicep and brachialis this is the this is the supplied by the c5 c6 what is the action of the bicep flexion now okay <clears throat> or may major action kya supinator is the main action theek hai flexion karoge you will not feel the that pulsation theek hai brachialis ki wajah se hoga but if you do the mid prone position mein supination can feel the more ek aisa flexion karo utna bicep nahi feel hoga but if you do the supination okay so this is the if you remember lock kholte kaise lock unlock karne ke liye gaadi start karne what is the direction screw screw ka direction kya hai supination hai 
because supinator supinator is more prominent uh, uh, powerful otherwise who to prove him and another engineer so ulta group and other ulta hota tha fully it can be done by this direction also why they always done this direction because the supinator has prom khud se khol ke dekho na kuch bhi karke you will not able to do this force but if you do the supination you can easily do it so the all screw driving screw tightening of the screw unlocking locks ke unlocking they all are supinator in this thing okay biceps is the this thing so what is the this is other bullet and this injury can also lead to this thing so what is the permanent deformity now deformity in case of this thing deformity kya rahegi yahan pe waiter tip hai तो क्या क्या चीज पैरालाइज हुआ क्या क्या हुआ यू टेल सो आम इज आम इज एडेक्टेड एक्सटेंडेड प्रोनेटेड एंड फ्लैक्स ठीक है फ्लैक्स दिस इज द पोर्ट्रेस डिपेंड और वेटर की पैंड और पुलिसमैन डिपेंड डिफरेंट डिफॉर्मिटीज है सो दिस मसल्स आर पैरालाइज सो अन अपोज एक्शन फ्रॉम द अदर साइड so if delta id pura abduction is lost so that is why pectoral is major takes the adductor is there supinator these all the are lateral rotators short muscles or scapular muscles so seats jo bola they all are lateral rotator so pectoral is major in middle rotator so again head is middle rotator and opposite action of the pectoral is major same bicep and brachialis and supinator are paralyzed the unopposed action by the tricep is cause the extension okay and loss of supination forearm is pronated supination loss and the forearm is pronated okay so these are the pronation defect the next is another in common injury of the brachial plexus is clumke paralysis so clumke paralysis when will it happen when there is a sudden extension of the hand this this limb means axilla angle abhi pehle this angle is increased now this angle is increase body and the limbs the angle suddenly extension so that will leave the uh, tensioning of the lower trunk that c8 t1 so all the interesting muscle of the hand they are supplied by c8 and t1 upper wala c5 c6 hai you can check the c5 c6 you examine for this portion for c8 t you look for the interesting muscle of hand so interesting muscle ka bhi action i told you this is the action iska opposite ho jayega this is so in the clumke paralysis you find this type of this thing okay so these are the condition cervical rib they also lead to the clumke paralysis okay so action already told you the same thing claw hand will happen but in the both side ulnar and median nerve okay because both component carry from the lower trunk okay next is next after that the injury is in this region axilla so if you remember long thoracic nerve run along the middle side of the chest middle side of the chest pura ribs ke along run karke aati serratus anterior ke sath theek hai so if how it is possible injury either stab injury stab ho sakta hai ya you are doing the intracostal drainage and you go behind and that is the place for the this thing you don't remember ki yahan pe long thoracic nerve you injured it after some time after a few days for the person will come with there, there is a problem so this is this type of injury no iatrogenic injury mean doctors create the injury for this thing okay so or sometimes it is heavy weighters may crush between the uh, clavicle and the first rib carrying heavy objects on the shoulder joint so these are the injury which can or radical mastectomy you talk about the breast okay. so these are lead to the so what is the deformity yahan pe kya deformity hogi deformity normally nahi hogi it is mainly not able to serratus anterior ki wajah se what is disability what is deformity क्या फंक्शन नहीं कर पाएगा सरेटस एंटीरियर चली गई तो लॉन्ग थ्रेसिक सप्लाई सरेटस एंटीरियर ओवर एड एक्शन बिकॉज फॉर द रोटेशन ऑफ द स्कैपला द डेल्टोइड कैन डू ओनली द अप टू नाइनटी डिग्री आफ्टर दैट द ग्रेटर टोकेंटर कम्स एक्रोमिन के प्रोसेस इट विल कम अंडर द एक्रोमिन प्रोसेस इट विल नॉट अलाउ फॉर दैट वी रिक्वायर स्कैपला हैज टू बी रोटेटेड टू डू द वन एटी ओवर हेड एडवर्शन so for the rotation of the scapula we require both muscles ye aise ghumayegi na it will go upar se trapezius aise ghumayegi niche se serratus anterior upar se trapezius aisa kichega so if this muscles are paralyzed 
this rotation of the scapula is not a and the over abduction is a and the dis, uh, deformity is when the person try to push the middle side of the uh, scapula will uh, prominent that is no winging of scapula here you can see this is the winging of scapula the medial edge of the scapula is elevated and over abduction is not possible this is because this serratus anterior this rotation is not possible come to the axillary nerve so what is the one? okay uh, in this exam in this session muscle and nerve we talk about the, there are two thing there is living anatomy you have five marks living anatomy clinical nerve. so in living anatomy we they ask you the testing of the muscles so we are just try to try to cover the, how to test the muscle for example now deltoid how you test the deltoid is it normal or abnormal the axillary nerve which muscle supplied by axillary nerve the deltoid it is minor so teres minor is not functioning, but deltoid we can test. How you test the deltoid? Deltoid action kya? Abduction hai na? So abduction we ask initially we ask the patient to do the abduction. So normally what you, when you ask, teacher ask you to do that testing, you immediately apply the force or suddenly you, there are two type of student. Ek bolega ha sir uthao ho gaya testing. Other dusra Dusra type of student, they apply the force and then the third type of student, they tell ki what I am doing and then first ask the person to perform the normal action, then do the testing. Already paralysis, you have paralyzed or you have paralyzed. Or weakness, you have already said you have paralyzed. If you paralyzed, you have already forced it, then you will take it. So first you ask the normal, do the normal action, then inform the patient. I am going to apply the uh, pressure, you have to do the abduction. The abduction you say, you have to take your hand. So, but this, for your information, I am just telling you, you ask the, for the abduction. Besides that, you can test the batchment area, this thing. There is a loss of upper part. That is, a, this is not a regimental batch area. The loss of sensation. Ya to paralysis of deltoid ki, ya loss of sensation in the upper part of the, this thing. Again, this is how you apply, hold the hand and apply the pressure on the with the other hand and ask to do the abduction. Then you can test the by touching the lower half of the deltoid. Then come to the median nerve. Median nerve can test. What are the nerve? Muscle supplied by the median nerve. Four arm muscles except one and a half muscles one end of muscles and they also supply the yape, three other group of muscles and first and second lumbricals. So how are you going to test the individual muscles? Median now also give the deep deep muscles as of, of the forearm are supplied by anterior interosseous nerve. How are you going to test the whether it is anterior interosseous you uh, that time the fracture with them in talking about the fracture of the both bone of arm, it may lead to the uh, rupture of the anterior interosseous nerve. Whether, how you know, whether it is anterior interosseous nerve guy or median nerve guy, there should be test, we can differentiate between whether anterior interosseous nerve is there or whether it is the median nerve is there. So what are the chances where it, median nerve get injured? One of the struthers ligaments, struther, struther ligament, from supracondyle reach to the middle epicondyle, the arches come. Okay, from this thing to the middle epicondyle, the, sorry, this ligament comes, it will compress the median nerve. Sometimes the brachial artery also compress the, this thing. So this is the ligament, Schuller's ligament which causes the, this thing, compression. So what will happen? All the muscles are paralyzed. The forearm muscles are paralyzed. How you test? Okay, before that, there is another thing. First thing, here injury ho sakti hai. I will tell you how you test later. Another is the median nerve passes through the pronator teres, through head of the pronator. So it may be a compression syndrome when the pronator teres, in the pronator teres. So how you test? You do the hold and to do the pronation, forced pronation. So when you try to do the forced pronation, so a person will complain of the pain in the distribution of the median nerve. Tingling sensation of pain in the distribution of the distant nerve. 
ठीक है सो हेयर इज द कंप्रेशन विद वेन यू डू द प्रोनेटर इज टाइट एंड इट कंप्रेस द नर्व सो यू फील द पेन एंड दिस थिंग सो दैट इज प्रोनेटर सिंड्रोम सो दैट इज हाइपरस्थीसिया इन हाइपरस्थीसिया इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन क्यूटेन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट थ्री एंड हाफ ऑफ द मिडल साइड ऑफ द थिंग ठीक है देन अदर प्लेसेस वेयर द इंजरी हैपन एज इज टोल्ड सुप्राकोंडाइल फ्रैक्चर इन सुप्राकोंडाइल फ्रैक्चर और पुलिस फ्रैक्चर स्टैब इंजरी इन द दिस रीजन रिस्ट इंजरी ठीक है लोग करते हैं ना तो स्टैब इंजरी दैट में डी टू द मीडियन ऑफ इंजरी और समटाइम कॉपल टनल ठीक है ठीक है आर्म इज सुपिनेटेड व्हाट इज इफ द नर्व इंजरी एट अपर लेवल फॉर स्ट्रू द लिगामेंट सो आर्म इज सुपिनेटेड पोजीशन बिकॉज प्रोनेटर टीरिस इज पैरालाइज प्रोनेटर टीरिस पैरालाइज वीक फ्लेक्शन ऑफ द रिज जॉइंट बिकॉज ऑल द फ्लेक्सर्स आर लॉस फ्लेक्सर्स आर सो वीक फ्लेक्शन एंड रिस फ्लेक्शन इज अकंप्लीट बाय रिस एडक्शन when you ask the person to do the flexion against the resistant it will do the adduction why this is happen because the middle half of the flexor distorm profundus and flexor carpi ulnaris they are acting median nerve paralyzed hui hai but ulnar nerve is intact so flexor carpi ulnaris can do weak flexion of the wrist joint and the middle half of distorm profundus all do so but the wrist is deviated when they ask the flexion the wrist is deviated to the this thing because of flexor carpi ulnaris so that is how you differentiate flexion hai either it is median nerve or for ulnar nerve so if the wrist is deviated to the middle side then it is because of ulnar ulnar flexor uh, uh, flexor carpi ulnaris and middle of flexor distorsion profundus in the hand will tell you this is the same thing so now <coughs> so what is happening now this is a, we already cover this thing now we talk about the intrinsic muscle of the hand which is supplied by the median nerve means thinner group of muscles so so there are two half okay just try to flex the your fingers flex your finger touch the terminal phalanx pehle choti fingers last pin thing ye wali finger karo next do the second finger मेला रिंग फिंगर सो व्हाट इज द पूरा टच होना चाहिए एक्टिवली करना फोर्स पैसिवली सो व्हाट विल हैपन ओवर द थर्ड फिंगर पूरा टर्मिनल फैलिंग सो टाइटली टच होना चाहिए व्हाट विल हैपन कैन यू स्टेट द दिस फिंगर मिडिल फिंगर टच पूरा फोर्सफुली टच थर्ड फिंगर का क्या हुआ मिडिल फिंगर का क्या हुआ फ्लेक्स हो गई but index finger remain the state theek hai this is known as benedict sign this is benedict the middle half of this the profundus is paralyzed so th this thing then the question is why this is theek hai if you remember the profundus the ligament the, they are arranged into two group for this two the tendon is sub superficial and there are four tendons are there flexor distorsion profundus for index and the little finger they are deeper tendon but for the middle finger and the ring finger the tendon are arranged superficially so they are arranged in two group so few fiber they are interchange with each other fiber the attach so when you doing this flexion this finger because the ul ulnar part is present so because of this ulnar part this uh, finger also get flex but this is there is no overlapping that is why this thing so that sign is not benedict sign we ask the person to this thing benedict sign or another test is we ask the patient to clasp the this thing do finger me dal ke test karne ke liye bolo that is known as this test this is sign of benediction this is optional clasp test or pointing index the pointing index theek hai you ask the person to this he not able to do the index finger flex so this is again for the median now especially for the this thinner group of muscles what are the thinner group of muscle naam to batao what are the names so afo abductor pollicis abductor pollicis brevis abductor pollicis conus pollicis 
so because of this thinner muscles are are atrophied if there is paralysis this muscle is atrophied and this abductor pollicis brevis is paralyzed theek hai abductor pollicis brevis paralyzed and the the end of the ulnar nerve is present in the adductor pollicis so out of the all four thinner muscles adductor pollicis is supplied by ulnar nerve so this there is a wasting of the muscle and palm, the thumb is adducted thumb is adducted and this type of deformity a thumb deformity this is a thumb deformity yeah. atrophy of this thinner group of muscle thumb is adducted and attached that is a thumb deformity again this is so media nerve so media nerve ke teen bataye maine pointing in this this thing sign of benediction a thumb deformity now how you differentiate with the anterior now come to the they said ki there is a fracture both of an glagi fracture or montegia fracture in any case it can lead to the injury to the anterior entrosis how you differentiate anterior entrosis now from the other injury of the mid nerve so we just ask the make a okay sign so okay sign is done by which muscle doing the okay sign the flexion of this thing terminal phalanx flexor distorum profundus and the muscles of this thing flexor uh, this thing flexor pollicis brevis and this thing okay and flexor pollicis longus flexor distorum you are testing mainly the flexor uh, distorum profundus and flexor pollicis longus by asking the okay sign if this anterior entrosis nerve is damaged these two muscles are damaged so the person actually is thoda wrong hai this diagram wrong the person will make like this way he uses the adductor pollicis and interesting muscle of the hand so he look this way not that way asking the okay sign if normal if person will able to make a okay sign but if in case of paralysis the person will make a adduction he use the adductor pollicis which is supplied by the ulna nerve meta flexion and meta carpo phalangeal joint extension of interphalangeal joint use the interesting muscle and adductor pollicis so it make a this way action instead of okay he is making this way action so if you making this sign means anterior entrosis nerve is paralyzed if you making okay sign so this thing so that is how you differentiate various muscle injury and testing of the muscles another test is for medial nerve is especially for the abductor pollicis brevis the pen test we ask the person to touch the pen okay this is the ask the this way. this is abduction this is adduction if the adductor pollicis person is able to touch the pen ask the hold in this sign and try to touch the pen then the question is there is a radial nerve ad, abductor pollicis longus is also there which is supplied by radial nerve that can do so how you test so but there is a medial rotation when you try to touch the pen the thumb also go into medial rotation so which is not done by the abductor pollicis longus only do the abduction so abductor pollicis brevis do the abduction along with the medial rotation of the thumb so that is differentiated through the pen test if not interested i can leave the class mera kuch nahi jata mera time already so another is a carpal tunnel syndrome i think everyone knows this thing so i'll just leave the carpal tunnel there is a tunnel is present here but formed by the carpal and upper side is the flexor retinaculum is there you have to in your exam you have to draw the diagram how you differentiate with the other nerve whether it is carpal tunnel or this thing are you going to differentiate so the you by just testing the sensation because the lower half the lower half this portion is supplied by the palmar branch so in the carpal tunnel this is preserved because it is passes from this region but the distal portion is paralyzed uh, there is a loss of sensation on distal palm of so that is how is and then again if you ask the do the flexion there is tingling and pain sensation because when you try to stretch the this portion and then now again compress the tingling sensation that is how we differentiate carpal tunnel from the other injury of the median nerve okay ask the uh, the flexion the treatment is cutting cutting the flexor retinaculum relax uh, releasing the nerve from this thing Ultimately, it will lead to a uh, permanent rot, a thumb deformity. That is the for the median nerve for interesting muscle. 
Now come to the ulna now. So an ulna now again, no branch in the hand. The most common injury they talk about the supracondylar fracture. Heard about the tardy ulna palsy? What is tardy ulna palsy? Okay. Why Mara? Eh, there is a uh, heard about the leprosy. No leprosy. So in India few cases present only in the Maharashtra. So how you diagnose this person's leprosy? There is a thickening of the nerves. So where the, what are the nerves which is like superficial? You feel the nerve. Zame Vaivam Pushtam. What are the nerves you can feel? Ulna nerve, common peroneal nerve. Few nerves which can be feel easily palpated. So ulna feel in this, behind the middle epicondyle. So sometimes when you, this thing, why the humerus is non-humerus? That wet, Compression of the ulna now, you feel the tang tingling sensation along the distribution of the ulna now. So this is the place where the ulna are commonly injured. So in case of supracondylar uh, this fracture, the there is a gun form uh, gun fog deformity means gun stroke different this type, the varus deformity. There is a, the two type of deformity, valgus and varus. So this type of deformity means if the bone straight hai, the nerve remains straight, but if I increases the angle, the nerve size remain the same, but it has to go like this way, malunion of supracondylar, so this edge, edge is tilted, just like bow leg, so now the nerve has to stretch, so with the movement, the nerve keep on stretching behind the middle epicondyle, and it is, there is no problem, after 6 to 7 months, the ulnar nerve palsy develop, that is known as tardy ulnar nerve palsy, this is a malunion of supracondylar fracture may lead to the Tardy ulna of palsy. Maybe they show you a picture of the uh, of gun stroke deformity, what, what, which condition it may lead to this thing. Feature the young ulna of gun stroke deformity, mein, like, hand as a rakhaoga, as a diagram, as a hand rega. So, which nerve is damaged? Most likely damage. So, ulna of. Gun is gun, gun jasa bante na. Gun ki tarah form hota hai limbs. That is a, this thing. Okay, so this is the distribution of the nerve. How are you going to test the muscles of the ulna nerve? First, you ask the deviation, adduction. You will test the, this muscle. This muscle test will test. Then, you ask the finger ka pad and dab test. You can do the for the intrinsic muscle. Palmar intracite, dorsal intracite. Hold the card and try to push. So, this is palmar intracite. Dorsal intracite, press from the side, ask the extension. So, that is the palmar this thing. Then, for uh, this thing, for a lumbrical, you ask the, this action. Okay. Against the resistance, ask this action. So, that is how you test the, this thing. Then, for flexor distorm, you ask the hold the finger between the last two finger. Try to hold the compressly between these two finger. If the person able to hold the finger between these two finger, means profundus is okay. Middle half of the profundus is okay. If not able to hold, means the middle half of the flexor is profound is paralyzed. So, you are not able to. <coughs> then, Sita already covered. Pad and dab, I told you. So where it can be injured now? The curve. One I told you, tardial nerve palsy. Another is cubital tunnel. How the cubital tunnel is formed? The middle it is bounded to the middle epicondyle. Laterally by olecranon process and between these two, two head of this uh, flexor carpi ulnaris, there is a, this ligament is present. The tendinous arch is present. Below this tendinous arch, ulna crosses. So with the tightening of this thing, malunion or malformation may lead to the compression of the ulna nerve in this region, cubital tunnel. So that is cubital tunnel syndrome. Just like carpal tunnel, there is a cubital tunnel syndrome also. As any who have a mistake, nahi there is a cubital tunnel. Okay. And in that case, the ulna nerve is involved. Okay. This is injury you already discussed. Then there is a Gaines canal. This is the place where the pisohamate ligament between hamate, hook of hamate and pisiform. So this is the place where the pisohamate ligament. So it can be compressed in the Gaines canal. So, 
सो इट लीड टू द इंटरेस्टिंग मिसल अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड ठीक है द मिडिल हाफ ऑफ द दिस फिंगर डेवलप द अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड मिडिल क्लॉ हैंड और अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड मींस ये फिंगर स्ट्रेट रहेंगी द पर्सन विल लाइक दिस वे दिस इज द अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड दिस इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग मसल ऑफ हैंड एंड द अदर मसल्स पर लाइक वन कंडीशन नो ना द अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड ना व्हाट इज प्रोमेंट साइन ऑफ बुक टेस्ट दिस इज डन फॉर द एडक्टर पॉलिसिस then for the adductor pollicis this is done for we ask the person to hold the book with the adduction by doing this way you have to show the person ki you have to hold the book like this way if the adductor pollicis is paralyzed how the person will hold he use the flexor pollicis brevis that limb is flex means he is like this way okay so this is the You can see here, the person is using the flexion of the this thing. Instead of fully extended proximal lateral flexion, he do the flexion to hold the book. So this test is known book test of Froment sign. This again done for the ulnar nerve. What is ulnar paradox? What is ulnar paradox? so more proximal normally this is a, if the injury is more proximal more severe is the injury but here in case of proximal more proximal is injury less severity is there because in that case the flex, long flexor is also paralyzed it will not lead to deformity claw and deformity will come only after the flexor is preserved then interesting muscle do theek hai so deformity is more prone when the proximal is more proximal injury that is the ulnar paradox then radial nerve already covered okay. one thing i would just say saturday night palsy so saturday night palsy means the person side on this thing in the this groove the radial nerve is this thing so depend on the level of injury there is risk drop will not occur if the injury is in the forearm because the long flexor this the flexor cap is radial is longest is preserved so there is weakening of flexion risk drop means aisa hona chahiye yaar so the risk drop for the risk drop injury has to be above the either spiral groove or above the spiral groove then only the risk drop occur distal part mein agar radial nerve injury the risk drop will not occur so the oftenly asked in mcq where the risk drop occur in which level the risk drop occur okay because of preservation of flexor uh, extensor cap radial is longest the risk drop will not occur if there is distal injury all thing you already covered so this is all about the nerve now i think bony part is already covered so i will just the soft part we cover the soft part so this is memory gland already covered so i am not going to cover This is the region I already covered in the lecture. So venous drainage, okay. Ligament of Cooper involved puckering, the lymphatic blockage, BD orange, the cutaneous or internal thoracic lymph node block of the channel that spread to the other side. Lactiferous the inversion of nipple. So these are the region. Then. They ask you medial cubital vein. Why the medial cubital vein is most preferred for the IV injection? Because it passes through the biceptral epigonosis. If you tense the biceptral epigonosis, it will you fix for putting the IV line. You have to fix the nerve. Otherwise, vein. Sorry. Otherwise, vein is more flexible. Okay. So that is why uh, medial cubital vein is preferred for this thing. Then, what is pulsating scapula? What is pulsating scapula? Heard about the pulsating scapula? in case of the the second and third part of axillary nerve is blocked okay if this this region is blocked so what will happen there is alternate channels form there is alternate channel is form from the thyrocervical trunk 
there is a branch deep branch of transesophageal artery and there is a communication of circumflex scapular artery and thoracodorsal artery so the channel the blood will go from this direction and ultimately go to into the axillary artery agar yahan pe axillary artery ka block hua forearm will not get it may lead to gangrene so alternate channel is there already aata hai kya sabko i will take the viva now study me volkman uh, foxman's ischemic contraction foxman hai it's not volkman's foxman ek fox wagon hai na to foxman theek hai so fox main thing is there is ischemic contraction the all long flexor distrom profundus and uh, this superficial is get atrophied that lead to the this claw hand theek hai this is a compression is not because of paralysis all these things so there first has to fibrose then only how you know, how you test the it is volkman ischemic contraction if you the, the if you do the wrist flexion the tendons get tense you not able to do this matlab agar maine wrist flexion kiya the finger will this way to do the flexion i have to relax the wrist joint when i do the flex i mean this is this is the position when i do the wrist flexion they get tense that is how you differentiate the paralysis and the volkman ischemic because there is a tightening of the tendon jaise flex karoge ye tightening ho jayega ye shortening hoga and this will got extension that is how differential walking is showing contraction on other paralysis okay brachial artery you feel brachial artery the pulsation use ke liye use karte hain and now the angiography ke liye you use radial artery radial then there is a golfer elbow there is a tennis elbow recurrent inflammation sudden forceful flexion lead to the golfer elbow and tennis elbow is sudden extension repeated sudden extension lead to the tennis elbow okay there is another deformity that is two deformity botnia deformity and swan neck deformity botnia deformity means this is happening in rheumatoid artery this is under flexion the proximal interphalangeal joint is in flexion that is present in botnia deformity swan neck deformity this proximal interphalangeal is extension the terminal phalanx is flexed so this is present in rheumatoid arthritis ye clinical spot mein rahega then there is a mallet finger baseball khelte hai baseball the terminal phalanx the extension of sudden jerk that lead to the this thing so in the mallet finger the last 45 degree of flexion of terminal phalanx is not possible so sudden jerk this so this is a mallet finger then the infection of hand so various injuries lead to the infection of hand so yahan ka side ka hoga paronychia epinochia and terminal first web space mein hoga yahan pe infection hoga pulse circulate hoga that is known as ko sab aata na puchta hu bhi main padhaunga in udhar se hum bolo yahan ka flexion hoga aur kya problem hai yahan pe pus hua to chhodna nahi फर्स्ट पल स्पेस में हुआ क्या प्रॉब्लम है गैंग्रीन में होगा क्यों होगा गैंग्रीन भाई दिस अगेन तुमको आता है ना बोल दो सब लोग बोल रहे थे कुछ अरे मैं गैंग्रीन पूछ रहा हूं वाई द टर्मिनल फैलिंग इन गैंग्रीन बोन पूरी चली जाएगी टर्मिनल फैलिंग वाई द कंडीशन पहले नाम तो बताओ कंडीशन नॉन एस फेलॉन बोला कोई तो ठीक है फेलॉन इज द कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑफ इन दिस स्पेस देर इज टाइट सेप्टा इज देयर टाइट सेप्टा इज देर इज द पस इज देयर एज बाय डिफिनेशन डिफेशिया अन इल्डिंग अन इलास्टिंग इन नेचर सो दिस सेप्टा इज नथिंग बट डिफेशिया सो जितना भी पस होगा एक्यूमुलेट होता रहेगा एक्यूमुलेट होता वहां पे क्या है आर्टरी आर्टरी विल कंप्रेस विद दैट टर्मिनल पार्ट इज गो इनटू गैंग्रीन सो प्रोक्सिमल 1/4 ऑफ द फिंगर विल शेड ऑफ देखा नो स्मोकिंग पिक्चर और सब में देखा ना फ्रॉग फ्रॉस्ट बाइट होता है वहां पे सडन वेस्कुलेचर होता है फिंगर पूरी पूरी देखते हैं पूरी पूरी फिंगर गिर जाती है गैंग्रीन होके तो टर्मिनल फैलिंग सो दैट इज फैलॉन केस में दैट विल लीड टू दिस थिंग दिस इज सेप्टा सो दिस पोर्शन द आर्टरी सप्लाई ऑफ दिस पोर्शन फोर फिफ्थ ऑफ दिस थिंग फोर फिफ्थ इज कट सो पूरा पूरा बोन भी शेड हो जाएगा पूरा गैंग्रीन हो जाएगा कैन सी 
काटना नहीं पड़ेगा काटना तो पड़ेगा आप उससे पहले ड्रेन कर दोगे तो काटना ही नहीं पड़ेगा अगर ड्रेन नहीं काटा तो जरूरी जाएगा 